Hi, it's Yaz again. I wanted to introduce my homework check paper here that I've used this year. Um, beginning with the struggle every year to review homework is very real. Uh, I push myself to an unrealistic point uh, where I feel like I have to review every single question. Uh, not realizing that there's got to be a better way in terms of time management and student ownership really of reviewing this homework. Um, if I just want to make sure that they did the homework, that's a quick check. So there's that aspect of it. Uh, but my worries lied more with what if there's a question on a particular problem and I didn't catch it because there wasn't enough time. So that's my biggest worry. Cut to this year, I came up with a different sort of homework check. I said to students that they were going to have a limited amount of time. I displayed a clock on the board for six minutes. I explained that they needed to review their answers. Um, we modeled for about two minutes. I asked one student to come show me how they would review with their neighbor. And it wasn't the idea that one student was going to read off all their answers with the other, while the other student was silent. It was one and then the other. You give me your answer to number one, I'll give you my answer to number two, and we'll discuss after every answer who's right, who's wrong, do we agree or do we disagree. This is where the ideas will come out of. So I explained to students, if you truly do not agree or you truly do not understand some concept or idea that your teammate is trying to explain to you, you're going to have a space on this paper to write it down. So. That's when I spoke to them about the formatting. They are to include their name and the name of the person they worked with. And then on the left-hand side column, they are to tell me what problems did you both get the same answer on and therefore what problems, concepts, ideas do you both agree on. And on the right-hand side com column, some things that you disagreed on or perhaps your neighbor tried to convince you that one such answer was right but you weren't entirely convinced or maybe you didn't understand what they were talking about, please make sure you tell me what problem number that is, what idea that is, and write it down here on this side. So the ability to walk around the room during those six minutes is very beneficial, um, as well as the ability to look at multiple papers and notice common themes, rather than just being worried about who's right, who's wrong, who got this many right, who got that many wrong. Um, this paper has honestly really helped me just to hone in on what are the major ideas that I need to reteach to the whole class versus what are some smaller groups that I could create where they're either working with each other strategically or they're working with me if I notice large gaps in the knowledge. So this is definitely a useful way to review the homework um, beyond checking every single problem in sort of a rotary way. So I hope that that's helpful. Thank you.